Hey everybody, um, EP Solar made a new Tracer uh, charge controller for the solar uh, charge controller business. Um, here you can see the new model. Looks slightly different from before. Uh, it has a die cast aluminium uh, housing instead of extrusion housing. It doesn't really matter that much, but the, it, it does make for easier fixing to the wall compared to what it was before. Terminals are still quite alright. One thing of note is keep the, the, the screwdriver in to keep the hole depressed if you will uh, so that you can actually plug the wire in otherwise it's fine. Still have a manual button uh, manual button for uh, switching load on and off uh, doesn't do it if uh, it doesn't actually operate if you use the charge controller as a light timer, um, it's operated differently. It also has a funky new display, and let's hope it can focus focus this time. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really work. Let me if we this. There we go. And focus. Yes, there we go. Excellent. So we have uh, different buttons. We have uh, the monitoring, and it looks a bit, bit different now. It's animated. <laughs> to the slightest degree with a single arrow, but hey, that's fine. The values for the solar panel actually list current and voltage instead of just voltage for the previous version. Um, <coughs> for the charge controller itself you can see it actually uh, lists the amps now in somewhat decent fashion. I put my uh, multimeter uh, in, in the string and it's actually pretty accurate However, do keep in mind that with the display on, uh, it has a 70, mi 70 milliamp self-consumption. Um, you need to deduct that from the 0.3 amps. So it's actually something more along, uh, along the lines of 0.2 amps instead of the 0.3 you can see here. Um, solar panel is still currently in the shade. The MPP voltage is a bit low, but the open voltage of the panel is about 19 volts, which is also a bit low. So do keep that in mind. Go to escape. So you now have a menu. That's something we didn't have before. Um, and I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. We have uh, device information. But we also have control parameters now. So um, it doesn't just actually have the battery. But you can also set the temperature coefficient, rated voltage, over voltage. You can pretty much set all the different voltage levels. So this should be uh, make it possible to use it with something like a lithium iron phosphate, phosphate battery or lithium iron ion batteries. Um, depending if that's it's not something I really tested. I do have lithium ion batteries, but I don't actually have a lithium ion pack for something on the order of 100 amp hours uh, to use with this. Load set. So what you can do here is you can put in manual control, then the button works, you can put it in light on off. Um, that it just makes it a, a really big light sensor in the form of, of a solar panel. But it works about the same as the previous one I had before. Then we have a light on off with a timer. And if you go here, okay, you have the, the voltage values you can set with a time which is 10 minutes uh, then you have the night time which is 12 o'clock and you have the on time so you have the on time one and the on time two uh, which depends on how long you want it switched on when you're actually uh, when you go to darkness and when you go to sunrise uh, I suppose that's a value I've put it on four hours so after darkness it stays on for four hours which is Fine. And you have a normal time control, which could be really, really useful for other uh, things you would might, might want to do. Device parameters. Yeah. It actually held the date even while it was powerless. That is excellent. You can actually set the date and time now, so it actually knows when it's um, midnight. Which is useful, because in the previous version you couldn't set that. Device password. PSW. If you find anything uh, asking for the PSW, the default is all zeros and uh, PSW means password. There you go. Charge mode. 
you have voltage or state of charge. I just have it on the normal voltage, which is fine with factory reset, failure info and meter parameters. Failure info don't have any and meter parameters is just this display, which is fine. Um, put it back to monitoring. 40.7 is pretty much fine. Um, the amps look okay to me. I have a second display here because that's the battery where it's going into. Which has a separate display I bought off of eBay and 13.2 volts, 0.3 amps, 3 watts, which is, I mean, this display isn't very accurate, especially not on this low values. If you get anything in the, in the ballpark of amp, real amps, real numbers instead of increments, I suppose you get really a lot better value. There we go. And focus, please. Thank you. Okay, so the battery on my camera is out, but that's uh, pretty much all I have to tell about the Tracer 1215BN. Looks like uh, a good performer. We'll see how it uh, goes. It, it should be at least as good as the previous one. It, it's a lot more comprehensive now. Um, unfortunately, my quality control assurance uh, manager isn't here right now, so I'll give him my regards. <laughs>